And we're live. Hi everyone, this is Amch Gamer, and I'll be returning to Beyond All Reason Cast. Now we're moving on to a 3v3 on the Belmirineras. Don't expect me to pronounce anything non English properly. I mean, it's like what? Marinas Valley or something? Yep, yeah, not, not even gonna go there. Okay, let's introduce the team and let's get this uh, cast going. So on the right side, uh, we have Hopeman as red, orange is Calame23, yellow is the Alex. On the left hand side, we have green is UKF, teal is Islick540, and biggest is blue. Uh, let's start playing and then let's look at the map. So it looks like a 4v4 map. You have two players on the corner and then you can have like a player on each side of here uh... interesting so everyone start at a bit of a I guess medium elevation and then you have these high elevations a lot of room to maneuver around if you do have four players There's like one, two, three. There are a couple of avenues you need to hold down if you want to defend against the enemy. And air is definitely viable because there are definitely certain terrains that makes it uh, quite a challenge to move properly on land. So we are already seeing some engagement here. Do they have any answer to this? Ooh, losing that construction but You're gonna feel it because they don't come cheap more than time and the resources. But otherwise, I don't think there were any other... At least I, would, at least I was so focused here, I, I, I didn't focus elsewhere on the map. But from the looks of it... It looks like that might have been the only engagement in this area. Interesting. So, Red is aware that Blue's commander is here. Whoa, Teal went very aggressive. So Teal is like, I'm going to hold this central location. And there'll be nothing you can do about it. Well, kind of. So we do see... Yeah, the left-hand side is a lot more aggressive. They're pushing forward. Uh, yellow is just content. Yeah, it feels like the right-hand side isn't really contesting the against the left very much. So we do see some engagements here, some pawn wreckages. Okay, we're already seeing some artillery here. So, for Teal, I wonder if it's worth it to push forward. And that's a red, I mean orange. Man, I, I, I just can't tell the difference between those two uh, colors for whatever reason. But yeah, I wonder if it's... I wonder if it was worth it for Teal to lose like all of those defenses. So right now, Blue and Teal are trying to find an opening. Red has built a vehicle plant much closer to the front. So the question is, are they going to push through here? They might. Uh, Red doesn't have that much when you really look at it. But if they're not careful, like if these Rocketeers do well yeah it's definitely a lot of units a lot of damage inflicted blue's attack is kind of thwarted i wonder if anyone's daring enough to go for tier 2 already man we are seeing plenty of action which i haven't seen for a long time usually it's like one side or like one flank ooh blue might want to be careful if blue isn't careful, 
Losing that commander right now wouldn't be too great. Green is also at a more... Yeah, orange is content here, which means they are on average getting less resources. But yeah, the left hand side definitely have a better map control as a whole. Interesting. Going for Overwatch is not something I would have done just because they're so expensive. Okay, blue has pushed through. I'm not surprised. It, it does feel like red is lacking in units as a whole. Is orange... I guess orange is supporting red. I mean, at this point, these two colors look the same to me, honestly. <laughs> Oh no, I think... Okay, they were red, okay. But we have some skirmishes. Bigger map... Better map control for the left-hand side might give them an edge, but... but yellow does seem to be... Th Ooh, if... If green doesn't pay attention and lose the commander here, that'd be bad. And there's also one bad thing, if that, yep, if that goes off, Green's entire bulk of their forces is gone. And right now, Orange is sending forces forward. So I guess, I guess the Rocketeers or whatever they were using did break through these defenses, but now they are going after the enemy economy. Oh, they went for tier 2. Yeah, they don't have enough damage. And Teal is getting hounds, which is not good news. Oh, they have tier 2 as well. That does explain why their uh, unit production and whatnot has uh, slowed down. I wonder if tier 2... I mean, if you get enough... It could make a difference, but if your opponent have a lot of units, it's really hard to justify it. And yellow might be a bit too passive. I wonder what happens if yellow actually manages to... So they are getting flanked. They, they can't easily push through. Meanwhile, blue is making a push up top with their hounds and whatnot. I don't think red has what is needed to defend against this. They're getting their own hounds, but they're just outnumbered. Yep. So looking at this, like I said, the, the extra map control for the left hand side really gave them, really give the left hand side a chance to basically have a better economy than their opponent. But as you can see here, Hounds are decent, except against certain units, because they're cheaper, so... Yeah, they gotta be in a position where they could kind of like ambush the enemy. Ooh, Yellow is trying to carry the day for... Yeah, the question is whether or not r Red and Orange can hold out. Because if yellow could get fiends through, that is actually terrifying. Oh, these things. Missile trucks are not built for this. They're getting cooked alive. Ouch. So now we have a race. And... Oh! Oh, shoot. Yeah, uh... Orange isn't paying attention. But the fact that yellow is getting into all of this. Uh, they got too close. Yeah, those buildings do blow up. Wait. 
I hear bombers. Hmm. So yellow has a chance to end this. They just need to stop playing so passively. They haven't... They've done some economic damage to Teal, but not enough. Yeah, Orange is wasting a lot of resources on these air units. Oh yeah, this is really bad. Orange is not paying attention. All of these aircrafts are getting destroyed. And I don't think... Yeah, because yellow is so passive, they aren't able to... Stop this attack. I think if yellow was able to... Be more aggressive and push much sooner, I think this game would have been different because it might actually become yellow versus blue. But right now, yeah. It definitely feels like red and orange are just not on the... I mean, red seems like a newer player. Orange as well because... Getting a proper air, air force is just... Very expensive. It doesn't just happen. And yeah, yellow against all of this is definitely not going to... Happen. But anyways, yeah, blue blue did a ton. Like like green was more or less Green was there to kind of slow down yellow. Teal Teal was very aggressive. But they also felt very passive. Honestly, if blue didn't push, I I think eventually this game would have went to the right hand side. So yeah, blue definitely had to do a fair share being aggro, push through, destroy the bases to eventually uh, conclude the battle. Honestly, I I would have been fine seeing blue eliminating red and orange and yellow eliminating green and teal. So it's just blue versus yellow. That that'd be pretty fun to watch. But anyways, uh, that didn't happen because yellow was a bit too passive there. But anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you have a good one.